Hello Witch Gem Games and in this video I'm gonna show you how to mix two animations together. So for example the bottom part and the upper part of the character are using different animations or like playing different animations at the same time. So yeah, let's get started. First if you're using a third person template like I am, you want to go to the characters and to the mannequin and to the animations. And here we have this APP Mani which is our character blueprint and also here is the animation that I'm gonna use I just created this quickly this is just a simple push animation like this I'm gonna blend this so the bottom part of the character uses the locomotion animations so the legs are moving if you are walking and stuff like that and the upper part is using this push animation so yeah let's actually uh, if you're if you want to play some animation only on the top part you want to select your animation and create and create any montage like that now let's open the any montage that you want to use and here what we want to do we want to go to the anim slot manager and here we want to uh, we want to change this default group default slot to slot name we want to change it to upper body. If you don't have this uh, animation slot here, you want to add a slot from here and you want to call it like upper body, like upper body. Okay, now it will add it here and we already have it, so it will not do anything. Okay, we are using the upper body slot here. Now we actually want to move this a little bit so it uh, somehow like compiles it or something so now it works now we can save we can close and now we want to go to the app many or whatever animation blueprint you want to use and what we want to do we want to go to the anim graph here what we want to do we want to move all this after the main states or your state machine right like this we want to cut this link so alt and left click and now let's move all these a little bit further up and we want to also get from the main states we want to catch new save catch pose okay so we are basically saving this state we want to call it main states okay let's align them so select and press q okay so if you're like if they're like this and you select and press q they will align correctly okay Next thing, what we want to do here, we want to get the main states. So main states. Use catch pose main states. Also, select it and press Ctrl and C and click here and press Ctrl and V. Okay, now we duplicated it or actually copied. So now we have two of those. So what we want to do now here, we want to get from this source and we want to layer blend per bone like this and here we need to compile so now we can click that and go to the details and here we want to select the bone that we are going to use so layer setup index print filters and we want to add a element let's open it here we have the uh, we need to add the bone name so let's go and check our bone name so you can click here and go to your skeleton here I think we want to mix uh, it from the spine to maybe from here. You can obviously use whatever you want, but just remember the name or press F2. Uh, okay, we can do it like that. You want to right click and copy selected bone names like that. Now we can close this and we are back on the app menu. Now you want to paste the name here or you can just write it if you want and then blend depth this is some kind of like blending how much it blends it to the other bones so let's i usually set it to like two or from two to five okay you can play with it and see what uh how it works now what we want to do here we want to connect these main states to the base pose and i actually want to align this all better like that Okay, and these other main states, we want to actually get a uh, slot. So, 
slot default slot like this. Now I want to align this and connect this to the plant poses zero. Now I want to click this. I want to change this default slot to the upper body slot. So now when we play that upper body montage, it will blend from the over the spine tree to this slot, which normally uses the same as this, but when we are play, playing the montage, it uses this instead. Okay, let's compile and save. And now we want to go to our third person blueprints and PP third person character. Let's open it. And we want to add some key to here or some input that we can use to play the animation. So let's find some empty space and right click and search for key. And here you can see all these keys. You can select whatever you want because we can change it later. Like you have selected the zero, you want to click from here, you can map it to whatever you want. So click here and for example, left click, okay? Left mouse button. Okay, now from here, we want to get our character mesh that we want to play the animation with. And now it is this mesh, character mesh zero, because we only have one mesh, okay? But if you have more, you want to select the one that you are using or you want to play the animation from. Okay, now go back to event graph. You want to get from the mesh and you want to play Mondage, Mondage, like that. And connect from the pressed and from here, Mondage to play, push Mondage, like that. And we don't actually have to do anything else here right now. Let's compile and save. Let's move this window to here. Now let's play this as a new editor window. It's easy to see. It's playing it as basically a new game. Now if we press the left click, uh, left mouse button, you can see, even if we're running, the player is pushing and our legs are still moving and if you're jumping and pushing, everything works. So it's blending those two animations together. Okay, yeah, and you can obviously use this with whatever animation you want. Okay, I think that was all for this video. If you like what you saw, please click the like button and subscribe for more. I also have a Call of Duty Zombies tutorial series on my channel, so if you're into that kind of stuff, please go check it out. People have liked it a lot. Okay, so have a great day and yeah, see you in the next one. Bye.